Was the meeting of Rumi and Shams Tabrizi a mere accident, or did Rumi knowingly or unknowingly call out for Shams Tabrizi's presence? What if the things that we long for the most in our lives are also searching for us? Could it be that your deepest desires and longings are not initiated by you, but are instead given to you, leading you to your true path? شکری زد را فدیدم روی تو یافتم ناگه رهی من سوی تو Stay with us as we uncover how Rumi's burning longing for spiritual liberation may not have been an accident at all. The lines of this ghazal, like many of Rumi's verses, speak of a journey, a spiritual search. One that begins not in action but in longing. A search not for something material but for something beyond. Rumi continues, and it was this longing, this fiery search, that flowed like water, leading me to you. Now ask yourself have you ever had a longing you didn't quite understand? A desire so strong that it pulls you in directions that you have never expected. Curiously, Rumi informs us in this poem that it was Shams himself who ignited that longing for him, for Shams, in Rumi's heart. <laughs> This line brings a powerful realization. This longing didn't belong to the physical world. It was a spiritual attraction initiated by the divine through Shams Tabrizi. But what if this attraction isn't just for Rumi? What if the desires, the searches that derives us, are also a call for something greater, a call from the spiritual forces guiding us towards our destiny. Could your search be leading you towards something greater, even if you don't yet realize it? Rumi asked, where is unity? Where is redemption? These questions haunted him. This endless where, where, these questions, these fiery cries that come out of Rumi, led him towards Shams Tabrizi. It was through this longing that he was led to spiritual enlightenment and awakening. You see, this search, the worries, worries, is what brought Rumi to Shams. This brings us to a pivotal point in our lives. Our constant search for meaning, for connection, for redemption might just be the things that lead us towards people or places that change our destiny for good. But not everyone feels this longing. Most people are caught up in the material desires, their souls buried under the weight of the world. But Rumi's soul was alive burning with a longing for something greater. This was exactly what led Rumi to Shams, and it could well be what leads us to our spiritual guides. And so this longing is not random. This search for connection, for redemption, for truth, for meaning, it is put in us for a specific reason. It is there to lead us to where we are meant to be, our destiny, our redemption our true happiness. Rumi wasn't just searching, he was being called, and perhaps so are you. But before you go, be sure to check one of our episodes where we discuss the first meeting of Shams Tabrizi and Rumi. It is not what you think. And the next episode, well, let's just say it's going to change your perspective towards your own longings forever. یافتم ناگه رهی من سوی تو بس به گفتم کوب سال و کون جا 
برد این کوکو مرا در کوی تو جستجویی در دلم انداختی تازه جستجو روم در جوی تو خاک را های یهویی کی بودی گر نبودی جذبه های یهوی تو